receive. In fact, if you want the climax, the climax is here. This is a climax from Jotsana Sri Vastava. Jotsana looks like a nice girl. Nice girl. Okay. So she says, Okay. Okay. I was totally unable to waste eight precious minutes of my life. Oh no. Oh no. Jotsana. Jotsana, you wasted eight precious minutes of your life. Oh, <laughs> oh so precious. Just like that. Just like that. Don't waste your time, my dear. My dear baby girl. Don't waste your time. Okay. Listening to some shit. Hey, Jotsana Srivatsa. How can you say that word? Shit. Okay. For some shitty guy. Listening to some shit. That's some shitty guy. So she likes shit too much. She has this fetish for shit. In the bracket. Who BTW, who by the way, doesn't even seem to be an Indian. Thank you. You See, when you want to give a compliment, I appreciate. Okay. Is speaking. So listening to some shit. Some shitty guy is speaking. But for what I've seen so far, from what this great girl has seen so from so far, so far, okay, guy, I think you envy us. Yeah, shit. Jorsana Srivatsa, how do you know this? How, how do you know it? My mind is blasting. It's, oof, it's going to seventh dimension that I envy you. Ah, why I envy you? Indian woman. The Indian auntie. I envy them. Ah, okay, let's see. Why? Why? For being comfortable, comfortable in our skin. Indian woman, fair and lovely. You are so beautiful in your skin. Please keep your skin to yourself. I don't want your skin. What I do with your skin? Okay, next one. What she said. It is clearly visible that you weren't. Jotsana Srivata, how do you know this? Uh, okay, it was visible. Probably... That is why you didn't like the face. God. God. Which God? Shiva, Vishnu, uh, Ganesh, Lord Shiva, Allah, Jesus. Which God? Okay. The God sent you for with for this. I'm deeply sorry for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Jod Sadashri Bhatsa. Thank you so much. So much. You are so sorry for me. I, it, it has touched my uh, heart. My, my breast and my heart. Thank you. Okay, then. If by any chance that is not the case, I want to say, fuck off. Jotsana, what your daddy mummy will say if you are giving such bad words? Jotsana, this is not good, huh? Jotsana, not good. Baby, baby, see, don't say such bad words. I am elder than you. Your father didn't teach you any manners. Jotsana, why you are saying like this? Why, why, why? Or in a better word, Gand Marao. Wow, your father taught you great stuff. Jotsana Sivata, this is great values your mother and father teaching you. Gand Maro. I, I don't know how your father taught you how to Gand Maro, but it's a great day. Great day. Your father and mother teaches you great values. Okay. Since your family knows how to Gand Maro. Okay. Since you don't like us copying the Western culture. Uh, okay. So you can Gand Maro. Fantastic. Jotsana Srivatsa. Okay. And then, I don't like tattoos either. Okay. Agreed. You don't like tattoos. Some people don't like. My ex-wife also didn't like. But, you know, happens. Okay. I mean, so many of them on one patch of skin. It doesn't appear formal or presentable or nice from any angle. Yeah. Agree with you. It doesn't appear nice, presentable and formal. It's not supposed to be formal. Okay. And you, my dear, oh, thank you so much. You call me dear. <laughs> okay. You, my dear, are covered with them. Shit. I know it's bad. So I can't go to corporate world. Okay. Then Jotsana Srivatsa says, I'm making peace with your existence on earth. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Jotsana. You have made peace. We need peace. Okay. Because the world is full of stupid morons. Indian two dot chuki. Chu T E. Okay, Chu T. Okay, fine. You better make peace with mine. Yes. Peace. We make Jotsana's world, my world, we make peace. Okay, after saying Gond Marrow and uh, fuck off. She wants to make peace. And FYI, Jotsana Srivatsa says, most women in India actually cannot afford a beautician. 
Really? I didn't know that. Whatever you say. If you say, agree. And waxing. She! That means they are bushy. That means they have bush all over. Means you also have bush. She, she, she. Imagine if you have to eat a donut filled with hair. How would it be? Imagine if you have to eat a hamburger with hair. Then just think. When you are having sex, you put that with hair. Eek. With hair. <laughs> Not very good. Imagine if you get one uh, something moving or hair. You have to put head and shoulders. Maybe. Okay, uh, next. Uh, so most Indian women, most women in India cannot afford a beautician. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> Jyotsana. I feel like crying. Okay. And waxing and manicure and pedicure and deodorant and shit. Most women cannot afford waxing and manicure. They cannot afford pedicure and they can't afford deodorant. Oh, this is so sad. Indian women can't afford deodorant and deodorant and shit. Indian women can't afford shit. Oh, okay. That's Joseph, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. They have actual issues to deal with. I wonder what are they. But you will know. You will know better. Okay. Feeding their little kids. And being one of them. Okay. Josara, if you say so. Since you know better. Okay. Then Indian culture has never paid so much attention to material beauty. Yes. Fair and lovely. Put powder. Uh, basic grooming. This is material beauty. Keep it away. So without deodorant, natural hair everywhere, everywhere, natural. Don't put deodorant. That is Jai Hind, Indian women, women. I, I, I support you. I support you. Jyotsna Shivata, you're right. Indian women should be natural like a gorilla. Have a hair. Okay, mm, next. Probably because they are busy in scientific advancement. This is a great advancement. I don't know how advanced you must be. Back in the time when these cultures were being defined. That's why I keep Indian women far, far, because they are so natural. They have bush everywhere. No like you said, no deodorant, nothing. Better to keep far. Uh, everything God has made is so beautiful. Yes, you are so right. It is so beautiful. God, God, Lord Ganesha, Lord Shiva, Amunra, Zeus, Allah, Jesus. The hair everywhere is so beautiful for you. You keep. I don't want. Okay. Now, next one. When we embrace it, when you embrace it, you will have a problem with it. I don't have any problem. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I have deodorant money. Money. It's, uh, you know, 100 rupees maybe. I have deodorant money. Powder I put sometimes. Okay. When we copy Western culture, I don't have any problem. Copy if you want. You still have a problem with it. I don't have a problem. Now, my, she has put capital letter. My advice to you. My advice, that is, Jyotsana Srivatsa the Great, go get a life. Ta-da! She puts climax. So, Jyotsana Srivatsa, whose father and mother teacher taught her, Gand Maro, those words like Gand Maro, fuck off, whose father and mother teaches such great values, and who has done enough and more research to find out that Indian women can't afford waxing, manicure, pedicure, deodorant and shit. Thank you so much, Jyotsana. I appreciate your advice. You're a great, great educated woman. And uh, I will consider, I will consider what you have to say. So it's a great day to have girls like this represent India, motherland, and to share such great values. So anyway. These were some of the comments, thoughts and opinions that I received from all the people who are my YouTube followers and uh, viewers. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, as usual, this is me signing off for now. Take care, guys. I read all your comments. Make sure that you comment. Goodbye.